Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. Looks like we are going live. And uh, for poor Owen here, you know, we kind of just uh, ramble on before we start the show just to make sure that we're live and, uh, you know, let people know that we're out here. So for everybody that joins us live, hi. All right. So are you guys ready to get this show on the road here? We're ready to get this started. Looks like we are going live. Hey. I can hear myself. It must be I'm working. watching hey, you. I'm watching. Hey. Yeah, I'm watching. I'm like, what are these guys doing? How does it I really think, look for real? Hey, Owen, you got head, You got some headphones you can wear or earbuds? Well, that mm. I had my phone. What what that was was my was my uh, my yeah, phone. Yeah, he was playing it on his phone and it was going through. Oh, the all right. So, yeah. Anyway, folks. Uh, so for these of you joining us live, we're getting ready to talk. No big surprises here. We're obviously meeting with uh, good old Owen video today. So, and that's going to be the. Uh, topic of a discussion i'm calling it video reality with owen video Ooh, that could be a tv show video reality yeah. with owen video virtual reality the troopers video reality troopers that was that was my after VR. school TV vr show. troopers I, I think i remember yeah that. yeah 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 remember i do I, I don't remember it but i remember it you know I, the name sounds familiar but i don't remember ever watching it yeah, it was part of that whole, you know, uh, Power Rangers. So, you know, I was in high school at the time. Oh, but it was yeah, cool. I remember that. Right? Okay, hey, okay, guys, like, let's, go, right. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's start the show. Steve's such a... I thought we were. A, I thought we were Steve's live. Steve's such an old lady. No, I mean, we got to start right. the podcast. Then you, could, right, you, right, then, right. then you can talk about stuff I never watched on Okay, TV. here we go. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two... On today's episode of Video Marketing Madness, we're going to speak with Owen Video. And today's episode is made possible by our good friends over at Movo Photo. If you haven't checked out all of the great stuff at Movo, you got to do it right away. If you're looking for things like lights so that you can start shooting better video or lapel microphones, wireless microphones, even stands. In fact, sitting right in front of me, this camera right here is on a brand new mini tripod that I got directly from Movo Photo. Now, if you want to check out some of the great things that they have, you can head on over to raisebonuses.com slash Movo. And if you want something very specific like one of our lavalier mics, the LV-1, head on over to pocketvideopro.com slash LV-1. You can pick one up today and get our Pocket Video Pro bonus, which comes with all sorts of goodies to help you make even better video. And that's all available when you go through Movo Photo for your good stuff. So with that, let's hit the music and get this show underway. Ooh. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at, even if he's a little fat. He's filled with video expertise and has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy. And it's the radio show about video, Video Marketing Madness with Ray the Video Guy, and I'm Steve Sleeper. GoVMM.com is our landing page. Ray's mimicking me again. I can see that out of the corner of my eye. And you know what we need? You know what we need? I know what I need. <laughs> yeah, I know what I need, too, but uh, this is kind of rhetorical. But I'm going to give the answer. Apple Podcast subscribers. <gasps> Apple good. Yeah. We need reviews there, too. Everybody, give us a five-star mm -hmm. review. And by mm -hmm. the way, if you go to Apple Podcasts, you give us a five-star review, Steve's going to buy you a car. I am. Brand new car. <laughs> brand new Yugo. <laughs> a brand new, what is it they call them, Travance, the East German car that was made out of cardboard. <laughs> press cardboard that sounds seriously that sounds good so yeah i wow. i had that in a house i lived in years ago that press cardboard on the walls <laughs> that oh, sounds wonderful that wonderful those yeah. were the days folks those were yeah. the days boy i don't think they'd allow that these days but you know no hey what no, are you gonna do okay. hey yeah. owen how's it going there buddy oh my gosh i was just thinking about a cardboard car you know and, and thinking i'm like that's that's mildly economical, you know, when you think about it. The <laughs> back and forth, you know, I'm going to, I'm gonna, is it corrugated is really, that's the question uh, that everyone's asking. I'm good, man. I'm happy to be here. It's my, my third time, maybe fourth time on the show. And it's like, it looks better than ever. Like, wow. <laughs> Air five to you guys. Yeah, like, really great. No it doubt. looks great. It feels great. We have some fun out here. No doubt about it. We, we like to play with the technology and it fails half the time, but we like to play with it. 
You know what? It's because guys like us, uh, you know, I'm an active streamer. I stream all the time and I'm uploading to YouTube. You know, like I like to push the envelope. It's a basketball through a water hose <laughs> over here. Oh, yeah. And it is like, I, in fact, I was just thinking about you the other day because we, we got a brand new modem and then fast forward two weeks there. The Internet's just not working. We had to leave the house, you know, and of course, it's one of these days where uh, the uh, different uh, event planners, whatnot, they're like, send me your bio, send me your thing. So I'm like trying to get this content out. I can't get it out because there's no internet in my house. And I'm thinking like, I'm like Ray Lane, like that. Now I feel your pain because Ray is constantly <laughs> battling the evils of the internet company, you know? And, yeah, you know, it's it's kind of sad. And, uh, and and we we had, you know, actually here we've got what is supposed to be some pretty fast internet. But even here we have issues. But at home we've had issues and, you know. But we're doing so much too. Like I've got <sighs> in my modem right now, I've got my modem has like two you, you know, two ethernets and I've got splitters <laughs> in those two and I've got two different computers hooked up. I've got like an Alexa light bulb system like connected and Apple TV and all these wireless devices. You know, we've got all sorts of stuff. And yeah. then and I'm over here going like, ah, this crappy internet company. Uh, you know? I, <laughs> I can barely talk to somebody in Australia real time live on HD video. What's going on with this yeah. thing? While I'm streaming, yeah. I'm streaming How dare this free Skype service not do what, yeah. what it's supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we we uh, we have our our problems. Our, our what do they call them? First world problems, you know. So. First world problems. Amen. Unbelievable. Hallelujah. Yeah, we Hallelujah. love those. Uh, by the way, we love those those lights. You know, I've got I've got all these connected lights. That's what's shining up the background here. Is oh, that's cool. Connected light bulbs. Yeah, and, I'm getting some new lights too. I just found some really great lights. They're like DJ lights, and I'll tell ooh. you, uh, you know, working with the size that I have here, you we have more room then a lot like the average apartment or whatever is going to have and we're, we're mm -hmm. streaming in a in a, a, a much bigger area but the way the room is partitioned makes makes certain things a challenge like we can't go much higher than my head so everything has to be like a lower elevation that means lower desks yep. lower chairs uh and you can't hang too many lights so i found these great lights that are just small and i started thinking a dj has limited space right so what are djs using and all of a sudden i found this great collection of lights so they'll be here, you know, it's like not prime stuff, you know, you can't just get it here. So uh, I'm really excited. Oh, it's going to give me the, the ability to like, like these are cool behind me, right? So this is- I um, do. I like that a lot. I saw that. I thought that was really neat. I saw somebody else yeah. using that the other day too. Uh, yeah, it was uh, David <laughs> and Luria over, I, I noticed it right away in their, in their, their ad. They just boosted a new ad. It's like, yeah, they got these same lights. I've been they using had two, them. For, they had two of them, one on each side. And I was like, oh, that looks really good. What a compliment, too. Yeah, because I have two as well, and you can see it from my second cam. But here's the thing. is like that, that looks good as a column. You guys can't see on the podcast, but like it looks good kind of as a color bar behind me. Yeah. But uh, what what we really uh, – I want to be like to, to send the light onto the black curtain so that it kind of you know illuminates a little bit. So these new exactly. lights will be exciting, and it will just be one step farther to making a better a better-looking show. And I think that moves the needle for us in terms of – of uh of looking professional and converting more with video yeah well you know and it actually actually brings up a really good point because most of the folks that we're going to be talking to whether they whether we're talking to somebody who you know maybe you're a dentist or maybe you you work with dentists or or you know whatever it is you do you're probably not a giant you know production company out there that, that's listening to this podcast that's talking to us most of the time and so we kind of have to figure out some of these ways to do things in yeah. smaller spaces, you know, with smaller items. And these here, you know, what I've got here, I've got a bunch of these little lights here. I've got colored lights. And all these are, these are the uh, uh, the Philips Hue lights. I, I just picked them yeah. up at at, at, uh, at uh, Best Buy and set them up on a grid. And I've got a, a bar light up there. It's an LED bar light that's at the top there. You can't really see it, but... Uh, but, you know, it works perfectly fine, and especially in – and I, like you, I've actually got a very pretty good-sized space here, but it's yeah. got a column in the middle of it that kind of screws everything up. and Throws and everything not, so. off, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, exactly. it's, you know it's true because I am not – just to be clear, I'm not a production house. You know, I started as a video marketing agency, if you will. I started as a guy with a camera. Yep. And uh, and I had been fired um, at 30 years old from my 22nd job. I've been fired 22 times, and uh, and I, I begged my wife at this time, and because I was now I was like brand new married, I had two kids, and it's like please please don't make me keep getting jobs. Like let's let's now be <laughs> entrepreneurial. It's true, 
It's true. And I was already <laughs> playing with like um, uh, drop shipping and, and some of these other things. We had made some videos that sold some product. And so we had some momentum. So I was thinking, why don't I just sell videos to these local these local businesses? So I would go there door to door and I'd knock. And I went, I have a vest on and I had like a fishing vest on. And it, and it lo- made me look very directorial, right? So I go and I'd say, look, I'll film this video for you today for this price. Um, and it, but if I have to come back, it's a much higher price. And so I did. I hustled so much video out when before video was even a thing. Uh, mm-hmm. And I've always been well positioned on the demand for video. Always have been. Um, haven't always been on the cusp of the best camera, right? Or the best um, this. I have had a family while these other like younger YouTubers and whatnot have popped up. You know, um, uh, they could buy expensive cameras. I couldn't. I was stuck still with my camcorder. But yeah, I out, I'll tell you, I outsold all of them because I knew how to sell video to people. And so now that's what I do is I live stream and I do video here in my studio that I've turned my two car garage into a studio. Cars are outside burning in the California heat. Uh, and uh, and and I, you know, I, I teach those strategies and, and I love so much of what you're doing, Ray, with um, the just these dental packs and these. Uh, these these PLR type videos because if you can master like short choppy videos on the web like you you've got a thriving business your business will do very well and it's going to do even better in the future because uh, the results are in everybody wants video and we've got a few stories on yes. that but but video is huge right now I mean yeah. huger than ever oh yeah you know and and we've said it many times this is the year of video. But it really, you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm convinced that's never actually going to happen because we've already had that. Uh, every year is the year of video, and that's why we have yeah. to move on these things. And, you know, like you said, a lot of times we have to do this on a shoestring budget or with smaller items and less lights. And, you know, maybe you're, you know, one of the secrets that I always used to tell people is, believe it or not, you know, if you go out and you buy one of those Lowell lights, and Lowell is a, a yeah, they make production sure. lights, okay? And they yeah. use these, these little xenon bulbs. And they cost about seven hundred dollars. Yeah. And and guess what? And Owen, you probably know this already, but if you go down to Walmart right now and you buy one of those, you know, those uh, those lights you put in your garage, little work lights on a stand. Yeah, it it's can the lights exact. Kind of it's the exact same light bulbs in that seven hundred dollar Lowell light. So wow. for twenty bucks, you can have a production light instead of paying $700. Now you're not going to get the fancy barn doors and you're not going to have the, you know, the nice reflector in the background as much, but you're going to have a light that's the same light bulb that's used in these professional lights. Yeah, and, I you know, I sold my Lowell kit last year because it's like the bulb replacement is just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think I sold it. I think I goodwilled it because you're selling <laughs> it and you're like, you're selling it and you're like, oh, by the way, you need a new bulb. Ah, Right. Oh, well, they, they actually, believe it or not, they actually sell those bulbs in, in Walmart and in uh, uh, Home Depot because I used to have to buy them all the time because they would burn out on me. But Yeah. You know. Well, they're, they're not it's cheap, a heavy though. kit they're and it's cheap. expensive and you don't need it. You know, the very first green, the very first studio I had um, is I bought those $5 clamp lights from Home Depot uh, and put light bulbs in. And this one's, man, this guys, this was 10 years ago. And I clamped them to the the garage, uh, 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 the, the you know the beams, the, yeah. the eaves, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> and I, I I got some plywood. I got plywood and bright green paint, and I painted the plywood and then cut the plywood into into like sixths, right, so that it was easily. And I hung it on the wall, and that way I could move it. And if nice. we needed to like move up, because we were renting, and so it's like I didn't want to like permanently put a screen wall in their house. So it's like I hung it on the wall. Uh oh, I think Owen froze to death. Steve, you can still hear me, right? Yeah, he he Bang. looks frozen. Hey, oh, hey, there we okay, go. He's Owen's back. back. He's back. That was okay. weird. My my phone made a weird dinging sound, or somebody's phone did, and then you were gone for a second. So that was that was, that was yeah. me. P, that was me PMing you to tell you to get on with the content. <laughs> <laughs> this is the content, baby. This is the content. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, you know, but I I want to I want to learn about video reality. Aren't we going to talk about starting an agency? This is the reality of the video. All right. This is, this is what the reality is, baby. The reality sorry is to you be, gotta, Sorry to be so cranky. I know. Man, yeah, Steve's, and I'll tell you, but to, Steve, to Steve's <laughs> point, you know, the reason, the, I'll tell you, you guys could be selling more video. You talk about the year of video, but video is commoditized now, right? So 82%, mm-hmm. these are Oracle's numbers, and HubSpot came up with similar numbers. 
but 82% of all trafficked content, okay, will be video content. And last year that was measured as like 77%. So it's it's higher, but it was already high. Um, what's lacking is not a demand for video. It's it's understanding of how to purchase and, and how to package video. Where where I see video marketers and video agencies struggling is not in in the ability to create a video. E even some of this basic video can be great. It's great in, in 10 second clips on Instagram, but you're not packaging the product well. You're not like saying, hey, I do X for X amount of dollars, right? And then building the vision as to, to why that's important for the business owner. So many video marketers are, are doing this like two-step method, which I'm very against, right? Which is the needs analysis. Let me see what the customer needs. And we write a custom bid for each customer and, and get their needs, right? Like as if your dentist knows what the heck he needs when it comes to video marketing. But we go and we listen to these guys and then we write up, a, a, we spend up all night, three nights, three nights writing this, this, this Word document. Uh-oh. Poor Owen keeps freezing. What's going on, baby? See, this is the technology part. I don't know. Poor well, Owen, you, hey, Owen, if you can hear us, just log out and log back in. That's what oh, I do. Oh, he's back. He's no, back. No, no, he's back. He's back. All right. I see, it's, it must it's be a the basketball game. Yeah, it's the light. A, it, uh, yeah, basketball through a, 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 a garden hose. Yeah, no, I get it. I'm uh, streaming on 4K. I'm using a cam link here. Uh, I could easily nice. stream on my on my smaller cam. If we keep getting disruptions, I'll change my camera so that we're pushing pushing less through. But yeah. uh, J just for know, just for everybody's uh, understanding, he's pushing 4K through a system that goes out to Facebook at 720p. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I've got yeah. I'm using a MacBook, and I'm I'm like plugged into the back here. Like, there's so much going on. You see, this is what we're talking about. This is the type of thing we're talking about. Is it's it's these types of things where we're pushing the technology. And Steve knows because Steve and I we used to we used to uh, how did we do it, Steve? We did Hangouts, and we would Hangouts. stream through uh, uh, whatever the the old podcast network was at the same time, so that we'd have video. Blog and we would talk have audio. radio. Blog talk radio. Yeah. So we're doing yeah. blog oh, talk yeah. radio, and 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 we were doing Google Hangouts at the same time. You know, so it was. Uh, That's when yeah, I we, met you guys. I met you guys on Blog Talk Radio. We did a Blog Talk Radio together. We sure and did. And I'm proud sure of did. that, right? I'm proud of yeah. that. Well, uh, you know, while you know, I'm still a very young guy, right? Don't get me wrong. I'm not as young as some of these new like up and comers, and I I wish them all the luck. Don't get me wrong. I love a competitive environment, but we've we've watched cameras develop. When I started shooting, I I started shooting when the point and shoot Kodak point and shoots were still like <laughs> a, a cool thing, right? And I've watched cameras. There used to be these P P2 cards, right? Now they're all SD. You used to have be in a place where you had like three different memory cards, you know, that you're working with trying to create one video. Uh, and it's so much easier now, and it's more streamlined. But but we're going to the customer and we're saying, "What do you want?" Building out this incredibly packed out bid, and it's like five thousand. Dennis is like, "What are you talking? What are you talking about? Five thousand dollars? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like I wanted like one video that you could boost, right? And that's that's what we do is we kind of get in with like this really like depending on who the client is, right, and like what we know of them. But we kind of start with this really low. And you know, for just four ninety seven, we can do your first video, right? And then now you got the deal on the four ninety seven, and now you're talking about promoting the video. And the promoting the videos, me, you know, it'll be, you know, uh, four ninety seven. You pay me four ninety seven hundred, whatever. How you're upselling until you can get them into these bigger packages and whatnot. But you got to have it really packaged. So here's an idea. So here's a, or a perfect example. We have a client, and but you know, I'm over at the video marketing school .com. We teach all this stuff. We teach it in our courses and our live workshops and the different things that we do. And then we, we sell it on the web to y'all. But uh, what, 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 so I've got these local clients that I work with and oftentimes I get to use them as guinea pigs, right? And so, you know, we have this situation where they're selling uh, water filtration systems and they had brought like 10 people into their home for a presentation on water filtration systems, right? So the, in the first time he had set up his, he had set up his mobile phone in, in vertical off to the side, right? So we could, I could see that one person, I could see the back of one person's head 
And then I could see the side of his wife and a small TV that they were kind of showing everybody the presentation on. <laughs> well, that, and I'm like, hey, at least you got it up, right? At least you got a video up. What we went down there and did is we took their laptop, just like my laptop here, took the webcam on the laptop, flipped it around. So now the webcam is like facing out, put a, um, an HDMI cord in the Mac and put the, the other end of the Mac into the, to the TV in front of the room. So now it's the wife with the TV that's hooked up to the, to the Mac. So the husband can do the PowerPoint, right? And stream the thing with a full front and he can do screen shares. So now he's recording the presentation while streaming it online and he's able to switch back and forth uh, so it's not the camera picking up the TV when the, when the slide on the TV changes, then he can come back in here and, and, and screen share. And it just increased the quality of his presentation to where now you've got a presentation you can show people and you, you can actually convert. So those little yep. things, you know what I mean? So now as, and again, I was just teaching him how to do it. So you, the video marketer, the guy listening to this right now, what you do is you create your in-home streaming package. Where you say, hey, customer, I will show you how with using the gear you already have, you can create a three-step home streaming package. Um, and I'll set it up for you one time for $4.97. Right? And now you've got – you go over there to his house or to his office. You set that up for 500 bucks. You didn't have to film anything. Right? But now he's in a place where he can film video all the time. And now you're saying, hey, since you're filming video all the time, right? Um you know, I could do this editing package for you, a repurposing package where now for an extra, you know, and, and you, 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 you've got a video marketing company. Now you're, you've got a real thing. You're not doing these overnight bids for people and lots of different stuff that you could sell. Yep. And, and I completely agree. And, and, you know, back a while ago, one of the things that I kind of figured out was the days of me having a nice fancy camera that I'm going to go out to a dentist's office and shoot at the dentist's office, and then I'm going to go to the car dealership and shoot it. Those were kind of ending. And and yeah. the reason I say that, it, believe me, there were still people making a ton of money doing that. But uh, for me, you know, it was a game of, oh, now we've got HD, well, 720. Now we got 10, oh, now you got to get 4K. Now you got to get 8K. Yeah. And I, you know, it, it was just a game I didn't want to play anymore. And I realized, you Amen, know, yeah. for the most part, any of these businesses can do that themselves because, and I, you know, I'm using a webcam. This is just a webcam. That's all this is. This yeah. isn't, a, you know, some big fancy camera, but it's HD. And yeah. when I shoot my stuff in front of my green screen, and this blows people away most of the time, is I don't pull out my fancy cameras. I slap my iPhone up there because yeah. it's good enough. It's quick. It. I don't have to have a camera operator, and then I can wirelessly transmit the video afterwards. So why can't the car dealership do that? Why can't the dentist do that? They can. And so it's much better more profitable for me to teach you how to do that yourself so you'll make more content yes. and give me more content that I can work with and you can pay me for working with the content rather than creating the far less amounts yeah, of content. And, and, yeah, and okay, so I, I agree wholeheartedly and I'm gonna add this to it, right? Because you can be shooting that stuff for them but you have sure. to make it clear what you're, you have to package that. You have to package it really clearly so it's not I'm going to shoot some videos. It's it's I'm going to shoot I'm shooting, you know, um, twice a month for you for in these 1 hour bursts and you're just grabbing content that then is is going to be used as future B-roll added to an ad that you're going to run that week. See, you're going to make your money on messaging. It's not going to be on production value. If you play the production value game, you're going to lose. There's always going to be another video marketer. There's always going to be another dentist with more money than you, you know, or more money than, than you know, like if you work for a dentist or you're, you're doing video for a contractor, um, there's always going to be a contractor with more money who hired a more expensive guy, right? You're yeah. going to win on messaging and you've got to get your client – getting their message out in a number of different ways. So here's a great exercise you can do with your client. And I'm not suggesting you do this for free. I'm suggesting that you package this as part of your introductory offer or as sort of like, hey, we're gonna do the 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 the, the five video packets. It's nine ninety seven. You get five videos for nine ninety seven and it starts with this uh this uh video content strategy session, right? 
Uh, and, and in that session, you're going to have them lay out. So here's the exercise. You're going to have them lay out like the biggest questions or problems or sales objections, essentially, that they get from their customers. Right. So what are the biggest like the top level, like what people are, are asking about in your industry? What are the sales objections? You're going to unpack those. And then you're going to and you're hoping to get like 10 or 15. Uh, no one really says no to me. You know, you're going to have to like really get them honest. Right. Uh, you get those 10 things down and now you think of, um, you know, another way to word each of those. And my clients, we do three different ways. So you find one problem. Um, I just moved. I need a new dentist. And you got to find three different ways to phrase that, right? Thinking in three different types of personalities, right? So you come out of this with three different ways to state the same objection. And then you, you systematically, you answer those. Now you've got like 20 videos, and you answer those systematically, right? So every Friday from one to two, you're answering two questions with that customer. And now you've taken them from like, oh, we're gonna shoot some videos to having a real solid plan, right? It's scheduled, so they're not, you're not doing all their videos up front. You've got a monthly recurring client, right? It's, and it's just, and it's reasonable. Two videos, you boost them. Two videos, you boost them. Two videos, you boost them, you know? Um, that's the kind of stuff that that will make a successful video marketer like show up and shoot that's dead you're gonna die in the water this is i know so many video marketers trying to make every job their masterpiece look <laughs> dude the car wash is not going to pay you for your opus bro right your 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 best piece should be a video about your company right while you're selling to the business owners what will work with what they can do, right? They can legitimately afford this and actually execute that. And that's why you should sell them that. I love it. I think that's really good. And, you know, the cool thing about that is, you know, when you do it that way, you've always, the big thing you mentioned was the monthly recurring because they're going to continue to pay you monthly, which is what we want. And I yeah. used to work for, you know, I used to work for a, an ad agency back years and years and years ago. I mean, we're going back, I don't even know how many years now, gosh, probably 15 years or so. And the thing with them, when I started working with them, they had never even had a computer in their editing system. It was yeah. old, wow. you know, old traditional editing. They were still trying to, you know, get a furniture store to pay $20,000 to come out and shoot a commercial or a supermarket pay, charging $100,000 when, you know, some kid in his basement with a, you know, a, a Canon XL1 would go out and, and shoot the furniture company for, you know, 500 bucks. And they're yeah. charging, they're trying to charge 20,000. The day is just over yeah. and times have changed again. And now it's, you know, why am, why am I going to hire you for even $3,000 when, you know, oh, gee, you know what? I could probably do pretty good with my iPhone and my son Johnny there. He's pretty good at editing on iMovie. So, you know, we'll just do that for our website or for our YouTube or whatever. So it's very yeah. difficult. And Steve, you had something you wanted to say. Well, yeah. That. And, it, you know, what, what Owen's talking about is so dang true. Y years ago, I had a an attorney I did a lot of work with. And we just stood up a ton of video content, interviews. Yeah. He went out and spoke a lot. A uh, personal injury lawyer uh, that was uh, a New York City cop on permanent disability, and then he went to law school. Um, and, you know, he would go out and speak to the cops. I'd just take my iPhone out with a uh, uh, you know, wireless mic and record it and put it up, and he'd get a couple jobs from it. Well, they, they yeah. decided it had to be fancier. It had to look better. The cameras <laughs> had to be better. And they hired an, uh, uh, an agency that does a, a lot of commercials for a local retailer, big big furniture company in town. Guess what? Took him a year to get a video done where he was just wow. cranking them. <laughs> I, I, I'd do them. They'd be up the next day, you know. And so, yeah. uh, you know, why they thought they had to have all these fancy fades and wipes and everything else, uh, I, I don't know. And after that, he never got a job off of them. Uh, you know, I mean, the next day he'd have a transcript totally edited. He'd have a video up. And next, the, the following week, he, he landed a couple deals from cops that got hurt, and they were worth a million dollars. So, yeah. man, I'm telling you, Owen, what you're saying is absolutely spot on. Well, well I appreciate with, uh, 
Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I appreciate it. I pre because I feel very passionate about about these topics. You know, I started as a video marketer, right? I'm unemployable, and I have this camera and a desire to do video. I've been playing with video cameras since 1988. My dad came home with a Nintendo and a video camera, and I I <laughs> d d barely even touched a Nintendo. To this day, we don't own any game systems, but we have tons that we I teach my kids video. We spend time editing. Uh, so I always had a passion for it. I always loved it. And it's like, how do I make that? How do I make that work? You know? And so I have a lot of love for the video marketers, the agencies out there that are trying to make it work. And my big thing is package it. Like, don't don't keep doing these needs analysis meetings where yep. you're just like trying to build what they want. You're going to say, well, you're going to listen to their needs and say, well, what I want to do, customer, is flip it all on its head. And I'm going to show you how in two videos a month, we can uh, we can, you know, build your revenue by 10K. And here's how we do that, right? You go live, um, you go live on the first and third Monday of every month, okay? I'll tell you what to go live. I'm going to come into your office and I'm going to film you. I'm going to say three, two, one, and then you're going to go, you're going to go live. And then we're going to boost that post. And and on that, we're going to boost the post with a link to your, to your coupon or to your offer, right? Whatever the case might be. And that's what we're going to do, right? That's real. That's a real thing. And you're driving traffic now and you're getting views and everything's a win, right? Hey, we didn't get any new customers. Yeah, but we got 500 views. Hey, we didn't get any new customers. Yeah, but we got 25 clicks to the landing page, right? Hey, we didn't get any views. No, but we did have three new leads come in that wanted our free offer, right? So now we need to convert them to, to new, you know, and, and you just keep doing this every other week. That's like a low model. We, we teach all that, but that's, it's real to the dentist, to the contractor, to the business coach. And they, you can actually do it and you can do it like a lot, right? That's, we're talking yep. about like one hour a week plus 30 minutes travel time and 30 minutes prep time. You're talking about a two hour product. So if you if you decide that you have 40 workable hours in the week, um, that's 20 potential one hour clients that you could make at 500 bucks a pop. You're making 100 grand a week. Fail that by 10 percent, and you're making more money than the guy next to you at the chamber meeting. That's for sure. <laughs> no, we we love that, and and you know it, it's all about being prepared like that. And back in the old days, before all this live video stuff, we used to do something very very similar which was we would figure out what are, you know, in this particular market, for instance, bankruptcy lawyers is the one that we were doing a lot with. We would figure out, you know, what are people actually searching? What are the actual customers looking for? What is it yeah. they want? They're asking questions. They're not, they don't, you know, uh, the, dent, the, the bankruptcy lawyer is like, well, they want to know about, you know, this part, uh, you know, the, the such and such meeting. and that. No, they don't. They don't know what that is yet. They have no idea. They want to know, is somebody going to come to my door and take my totally. crap? Totally. Totally. Okay. It's like, it's. <laughs> and so what we would do is we would come up with those topics based on that. You know, am I going to lose my car? Is someone going to come and take my couch away? You know, am I going to lose my house? And we would go to the, to that bankruptcy lawyer's office and we would shoot 20 videos at a time, 20. Yeah. And those 20, 20 videos would carry on for a couple months. So we only had to spend two hours to carry out to carry out a couple months worth of content, all based yeah. off of stuff people actually wanted to know, and we could track all the way through. Look, you know these people are looking for this; they're asking this question. They want to know. Uh, you know, another one that was popular because we were in Utah. Uh, is it moral for me to to file bankruptcy? People wanted to know that. They wanted to know if you know if they were a bad person because they were filing bankruptcy. And right. so these types of things are what people were looking for, and that's what drove the traffic. No, and we used it. to get ridiculous amounts of traffic. I mean, we're talking, you know, I used to get phone calls because we actually worked in a lawyer's office. Like we had our, our little studio thing was in the back of her office, and she was one of our clients. And, and we used to answer the phone for her sometimes, and, and I got phone calls from, uh, from One Law, which was a company that give, sends leads to lawyers. And they yeah. wanted to charge right. like, you know, $5,000 a month. And I said, well, how many leads, you know, can we expect to get out of that? Well, you know, typically people get two to three leads a month. And I just laughed. I'm like, we go out and we shoot these videos and we're getting 30 leads a month. And you're telling us for all this money, you're going to give us two or three. You know, yeah. I mean, it was just, it was crazy. And we would get yeah. that many leads, you know, and and it's liberating. Clients. It's it's liberating because you know that's kind of what happened with me is that we we had we were generating so many leads for our own business 
that we started feeding the other videographers in town, right? So a as a video marketing agency, I, I ne there was a point at which I didn't want to be behind the camera anymore, right? I mm -hmm. wanted to be looked at as a strategist and yep. not a technician, okay? Uh, it wasn't at first, but but as time moved on, it's like, okay, I need to improve, improve the position where I, I'm positioned here. Uh, because that that positions you for monthly recurring on ads management and strategy consulting, um, so I began to fish out the work to to local videographers, right? And so there's so much value in this, guys. It, a local videographer that wants to do this, right? And like especially newer, younger talent, um, you know, I would hire them for 25 bucks an hour, so 50 bucks to come and shoot my client. So now they're getting great footage, right? Sli better than iPhone stuff uh, with the real photography. But, but I didn't hire the videographer to make me a video, right? That same videographer wants a grand to three grand to make a video. And they come out and shoot for two hours and they edit for eight hours, yep. right? With no accountability. I'm going to have another Mountain Dew. I'm going to leave. I'm going to walk away. I'll come and do this when I want to do it, when I'm creative, right? You hire the videographer underneath you right, to go do the job, go shoot the video. And we actually created a shot list template. And so it was like, we gave them the shot list and it's like, hey, we're not paying for anything that's not on this shot list, right? So they go out and they're shooting these 30 second clips, guy walking into his office, guy talking to customer, guy put it, like, it was lawyers, a lot of lawyers were doing this, right? Like yeah. lawyer getting out of car, lawyer walking in slow motion, all these different things, it's like 25 shots, two hours to get. We're paying 50 bucks. And even for a videographer that charges 75, you're paying 150 bucks for two hours of work. You're getting all these raw clips that now you can use whenever and wherever you want. You could pay a, a videographer or an editor in, in Pakistan or in South America, right? $6 an hour now to edit something for 30 bucks. So for $200, You've created a five hundred dollar video, and you profited three hundred bucks on that. Plus, you never got your hands dirty, right? You you sat, you orchestrated all of that, and that's that's what happened with us. Is like we got all these leads coming in. I need a video. It's like, well, we don't do that anymore. I'll tell you what, five hundred bucks will get you a video. Great. Pff, call this guy. Hey, I need you out for two hours of shooting. Boom, he goes out. I take the video, give it to an editor, crank it out. Five hundred dollars. Hey. I can get you 5,000 views on that video by the end of next week for just another $500. And now all of a sudden it's, you, you know, they're getting leads and traffic and they're coming back to me. Um, guys, you don't have to do all the work, right? <laughs> Find ways to sub out this stuff and position yourself as like the strategist so that so that you're, you're getting multiple video work, right? And this won't be true if you're a Steven Spielberg type. If you're like, selling videos to business owners because you want to make great video um it's a different thing but if you're trying to grow a business right um then then this is what these are the strategies that i think will carry you into into yep. the future everybody needs video everybody need they're looking for it but every here, all, here these videographers want, all the videographers want 3500 bucks for one video right <laughs> so you've got to be the guy that really shows them how to do this Right. No, I, you know, I completely and, agree. Take it out of their hands. Go ahead, and, Steve. and, you know, I, I thought about calling my business Steve's crappy videos because I, I, <laughs> my stuff is so down and dirty. So, I mean, I've got, I've got a, a, a DUI lawyer that I started off by doing podcast interviews with him. So we do a series of 20 podcast interviews over time. They'd be about 10 minutes long. I'd uh, up, upload those and publish them on his website, and then I'd put some slides on them and make YouTube videos out of it, and he'd, right. they'd rank for them. And then we'd transcribe them, and I'd edit them and make optimized blogs for it. And now I'm utilizing that blog material. I'm repurposing it over and over and over again with Spin Rewriter. Uh, just on the YouTube alone, his ROI was five to one because I'm pretty good at ranking stuff on YouTube and Google. And with all the repurposing I've been doing, and this is a long story that I won't get into, but he's at the top of the three pack in Google My Business. And I'm not a videographer. That's <laughs> great, know? man. Yeah. But you're a video marketer. I'm a yeah. video marketer. Yeah, I'm a video. I'm a video marketer can always hire a videographer. That's not a big deal. That's so powerful. <laughs> 
I and, use and content samurai. <laughs> yeah. And and yeah. you know, that's the same with anything, by the way. If you're gonna if you're gonna offer anything to a local business, remember that you don't need to be the person that's doing the SEO. You don't need to be the person that's setting up Google My Business. You just need to know how to get somebody that can do it for you because you're gonna be better off as the business yeah. owner talking with those businesses, getting more businesses to buy this. Because yeah. you can't you can't hire somebody to go talk to your client for you. I mean, I guess you could, but you know you're not going to. You but you can hire you're somebody to do the grunt work. Even even we decided that I need to get back on the phone, right? Like I took I took sort of like this. Oh, I'm not I'm too big to get on the phone, <laughs> um, and sales went down, man. Like and so now it's put everybody on the phone with Owen and. You know, there's a part of me that is like, oh, man, I'm too big for this. And and I'm not, guys. It's my ego, right? Um, yep. but, but I would like to have a salesperson. And we tried that. It didn't work. Uh, nobody's going to promote your company better than you, right? So so you've got to be face-to-face. -face, and the next time you have to do a task is the last time, okay? So the next time you got to set up somebody's Google My Business, you set it up and you record yourself. See, this is video marketing. You use video for everything. Even some of my best, my best, most pr profitable videos, no one has seen except for my VA. Yeah. But because she learned how to do something, we made more profit as a company. Think about that, guys. So we make yeah. a video. I just did it today. Of here's how I want you to do this. Okay, and they see that. Uh, they see how to Google my business and now you, you hire somebody on Upwork. You hire somebody who is like, Hey, I want you to do all my Google, my business stuff. This is, this is how you do it. Do it exactly this way. Right. They do it exactly that way. And, and oh, again, and again, and again, and again, and you're not, you're, and you do that with every little tiny task, right? Even with like, for me, I hate processing video files and people like all, like you mm -hmm. empty the card. Hard enough for me to put a card in a computer, right? For me, I look at that. And I'm just like, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, but I, I put the stuff in in two very specific folders, and then I have somebody else who processes them based on just a voice note I give them. Hey, I put these two new files, blah, 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 right? And I'm taking myself out of it. But oh, and I'll lose all my profit. Okay, yeah, at first, but you're able to now get more customers, and that was a big jump for me. Like, like going to a place where <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, we're gonna, I'm gonna make less money because I, I was at a place, and I'm still, we're doing okay. I was at a place though, in the, like for the first time in my life, like, wow, we're making money. Like, I'm enjoying my life. Like, I'm able to, I could buy that if I wanted it, right? Uh, we were going out to dinner and just Legoland season passes, and I'm thinking, wow, I'm making more money than my dad did at this age. Not wealthy, but certainly at a place where I could walk into my high school reunion and be like, yeah, what are you doing, right? <laughs> so, so. And I'm think, but I'm doing all the work. I'm doing 60 hour work weeks and I don't have time to outsource. So, so that was me then. And now here's what I'm teaching. So Dan Norton is a guy, he's a young video marketer out of New York city and he's got a full-time job live streaming for Disney, right? So he's got a full-time job doing that, but it, a lot of flexibility, but it's full-time. And he comes into my mastermind group and he, he's making zero money on on his own business, his, his, his video marketing business. Uh, what we did with him is we developed a program, decided how we were going to sell it. And from the very beginning, and by the way, it was an editing package that we came up with. It's like, you're already talking to people that are doing live streams. Let's just edit, edit their live streams and cool square memes and highlight reels. So he offers that package. It's an editing package. Gets $800 in recurring clients in two weeks. Okay. Nice. sells it very very quickly and he comes back and he's like oh and i sold this like now what <laughs> i said the first thing you do is you find someone else to do it no 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 no, man i i got this i can do this i know dan but i don't want you in this trap of i do all the work i want you in this place where from the very beginning you're outsourcing these things because it's going to take time. The first person you hire is not going to be the one that, that you build your company with, right? You might have to go through three, four, or five. And that's part of the learning curve. You don't want to be in a place where you're working 60 hours a week and now you have to outsource because you still have to go through that learning curve. And you got to do that on top of having all this work. So from the very beginning, look for things to, to outsource to get yourself out of the busy work and sell more and scale your company. 
Yep, and I agree 100% because I've been through that same exact trap and you know, I have to admit I still fall into it all the time. I I'm I'm very oh, yeah. very oh, hard yeah. for me to hand things off. It really is, but you know, I I learned with video editing, you know, when I was making all of those instant spokesperson videos and there's hundreds of them. I made yeah. most of those myself, but I finally got somebody who was who was out of um, uh, Estonia and he was doing the video editing for me and here's what I discovered what I was paying him to do those videos ended up being less than what it was costing when I did them because I would get distracted I would take twice as long to do them because of that and I would buy way too many video clips whereas he would go through my library and use the stuff that's already there and so the cost actually went down per yeah. video by using him than when I was doing and, it myself. And I'm willing to bet what you paid him is feeding his family, yes. right? You know, like like I can't pay an, an American college dropout 35 bucks an hour, which is what he wants, you know, <laughs> for 10 hours of, I'm gonna sit in my basement and edit, bro, and like I'll edit when like it comes to me, bro, right? Uh, <laughs> there's a book called Going Pro, that that I think should be college reading because in going pro he there's got he talks about there's a point in which you say I have to do this anyway. You talk about getting distracted, right? And and his whole thing is because he's a writer, he's saying just write. Even if you're distracted, ignore the distraction and just write, right? Even if it's crap, it doesn't you just need to get get it out on paper. Uh it's like the crusty stuff at the top of the toothpaste, right? Like you have to get that out before the toothpaste flows again, right? Sometimes you got to get your bad writing, your bad editing out just so you can, you know, start the project over again and now know the direction you want to go. Uh, younger editors that want more in the U.S., they simply don't have that discipline, whereas I've got an adult male or a female in Pakistan, in Estonia, uh, in – I've got a guy, kid from Russia uh, who's doing the work and is, is getting six, eight bucks American for it and is just so happy with their life, like is in a place where like this – is great i'm making good money uh and i have room for more clients uh you simply can't do that in 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 here locally and so there's there's right. so much value in finding other people that can do that and then getting you know hiring them like training them it's so unfair to be like here edit my videos right <laughs> like you you need to like have a way for here's a here's a here's a you know here's the end result here's my footage Here's what I'd like you to get to. You know what I mean? And then you create a process for that person so that they're – you're giving them what they need to succeed so they enjoy working with you. Absolutely. And and a lot of times, you know, they'll come up with creative new ideas that you may not totally. have done. When it comes to mine, I mean, you know, I was doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again for dentist, for lawyer, for doctor, you know. But it's still the same thing each time. And so he would get his hands on it and he'd be like, oh, I'm going to try this. Oh, I'm going to try this. I'm going to put yeah. the text this way. I'm going to use this kind of, you know, animation on the text. And then it just gave it a nice different flow, and, you know, to get some of those things put together. So it was, it was very good. And like I said, it ended up actually costing me less money because he was willing to take the time to go find what we already had versus just going yeah. to Video Hive and buying something new to, to throw in there. So it, uh, Yeah, it makes perfect you know, sense. Makes perfect sense. So, all right. Well, we have gone way beyond what we normally do. And that's awesome because we had a lot to talk about. We've had a lot of fun. And if you liked what we talked about today, if you had some fun, well, next Friday, not today, today's Friday, but next Friday on the 19th, Owen and I are actually doing a webinar where we're going to teach you how you can create your own video agency, how you can get started in doing that. And we're going to go through a lot of the different pitfalls so that you don't have to go through those. And not only will you learn a lot, but you'll have a lot of fun because as you can hear, we're kind of wild and crazy and, and we like to enjoy what we're doing while we're doing it. So uh, it should be a very interesting proposition. If you want to join us for that, it's completely free to join us. You can head on over to raisebonuses.com slash Owen, O-W-E-N, and uh, you'll be able to sign up for that, and hopefully we'll see you there. So, Owen, yeah, any register. last little things you want to throw in there with that? Yeah, register for that webinar. Um, and even if you're not a video marketer, uh, but you have another side business, register for that because I'm going to show you the exact step-by-step -step model. There's only five things you need to do to grow your company. Uh, you do these five things and you'll see how we create revenue so quickly, right? And it, clarify your message and here you post your message in these four places, you know, 
it's very tactical. It's very walk away. And um, I, you know, I'm excited. I love this content. So, uh, so join us for that and uh, we'll have a good time. Yep. And by the way, if you, if for some reason you don't think you might be able to make it to it, go there, sign up anyway, because we will send you automatically. If you're signed up, you'll automatically get the replay afterwards. You'll get an email directly from the system that will give you the replay on that. So check it out now. Raisebonuses.com slash Owen, O-W-E-N. Again, lots of fun, lots of learning, and hopefully lots of money making, which is what we all want to do. And uh, hopefully you'll do that as well. So raisebonuses.com slash Owen. And Steve, any last words from you up there? No, this is uh, this has been good. I did feel a little bad about pushing you guys to get to the point because <laughs> you were geeking out about equipment. Oh, I like this piece of lighting equipment. Oh, and one time he interviewed Dan Dennedy, who developed Shotcut, and yes. they were getting they were getting into the granularity of the software code. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why you're here, Steve. You know, because no, it's it's. Steve will put you in a sleeper hold if you get off. You <laughs> yeah, get off yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, the funny thing, too, is when we were talking about one of the thing I wanted to mention earlier, um, and you mentioned Dan Dennedy, and, and I forget the name of uh, our guest, Steve. I know you remember who he was. He was the, the computer boss guy, the... Uh, the, the oh, um, get my stuff. Buy my his, product. What buy was my product. John... John, I was going to say, um, it is John something. I knew it was John. It, it was, it was the, the courses on how to use uh, computers. Yeah, uh, he, taught, he taught how to use Windows, and he taught how to use yeah. Microsoft Word. And you may remember his commercials. They were just him sitting next to a table with a black cloth in the background saying, I'm going to teach you on this CD how to use Microsoft Word. Buy my stuff. How to use a typewriter. Uh, buy my, but, <laughs> but it wasn't just that. It was buy my product. Yes, buy, right? my, buy product. my product. He yeah, always had this serious look. He's like, buy my product. But, look. I kid you not, that guy started me on the internet. A hundred million dollars he made one year. A hundred yeah. million Beautiful. dollars. And here's the thing with that. He went through the same process you talked about. And this is the last thing, and then I'll let everybody go on the podcast here. But I wanted to bring this up because it goes into this point that we had earlier. He was doing all those videos very inexpensively, just standing in front of that curtain next to a table. And they hired, they were talked into hiring this big production company because they were making $50 million that year. So, you know, oh, you got to have better video. And they paid all this money to have this big fancy commercial made. Or was it a commercial, Steve, or was it an infomercial? It was one or the other. Yeah, it was Might one have been of the an two. infomercial. Yeah. Yeah. But in any case, they spent all this money, big fancy, you know, commercial and everything. And by the next year, he was back to standing in front of that curtain because it didn't work at all. Their sales yeah. plummeted. Because they wanted to have a direct conversation on TV with him where he looked you in the eye, told you what he had, and said, buy my stuff. Buy my product. Yeah, it's real. So, yeah, it's real. real thing. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's real. Just like the, the name of our episode today, which is Video Reality. <laughs> and now, Ray, I'm reading uh, the description on the Facebook Live, and it says, Video Reality with Owen Video, exclamation mark. Right. Join us for a free web webinar on HO. On HO? H-O-E. HO, H -O -E, HO, to start your own agency. HO, yes, because I don't we think want to put you, you want. I don't, I don't think you want HOs there. You no, know, what he means is, is, is join us for a webinar and HO, start HO, hey HO, HO. <laughs> <laughs> all right well with that i think we can bring this to a close we uh, probably should <laughs> owen thank you for joining us on this steve as always thank you for keeping us on track and of course today's episode was made possible by our good friends at movo and uh you know earlier we talked about lights lights are a very big part hey there's owen again as i click around on the, all these buttons here um i take my hand off there i like have spasms and hit the keys so when you're creating video and you need lights, well, our good friends at Movo, they make some excellent lights, and I've actually got two of them. I'm staring at them right now. They are LED lights, and they're literally, gosh, they're, I mean, they're smaller than, than most books, and, you know, just a little paperback book size, and I didn't realize how powerful these lights were when I got the, they've got a bigger one and a smaller one, and I've had the smaller one for a little while, and now I've got the big one, and I actually used it as a replacement for one of my big lights the other day to test it out when I was doing a video. And that thing was so good, I actually had to turn it down because it was outperforming the actual video light on the other side that we always use. And, and just in a little package, you know, that's only by, you know, maybe wow. 
three, four inches tall by five, six inches wide. And, uh, you know, it can run on DC power. It can run on batteries. You can use it any way you want. And it just does a really good job. And you can check those out. Head on over to raisebonuses.com slash movo. And just search LED. Search for LED lights. And there's only two of them on there that they sell. And they're, they're under 50 bucks. One of them, I think, is like 40. One of them is like 50 or somewhere in that neighborhood. And Beautiful. absolutely amazing job these things do. In fact, I'm probably going to order a couple more and replace these other ones completely because uh, they're much bigger. And, uh, you know, I can move the other ones around. Plus, the, these LED lights, you can attach them together to make panels of lights. So they literally, you can attach one to the other and have like a giant grid of lights if you wanted. So that's all available over at Movo. If you head on over to raisebonuses.com slash Movo. And of course, they've got all sorts of things. Stands, mini tripods like the one in front of me here. They've got microphones. They've got wireless mics. They've got shotgun mics. They've got lapel mics. Everything that you need to start working and making amazing video. Even if you're using your iPhone or your Android phone you can get amazing video products to shoot like a professional with those as well. So check them out, raisebonuses.com slash movo, the longest promo at the end of any video we've ever done. Have a great week, everybody. And with that, we're going to hit that music and get the heck out of here. We'll see you. See folks. what I mean by He's him Ray geeking out? the video guy. Yeah, Ray the video guy. His skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat, he's filled with video expertise. He has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy. Here we go.